Rider Japan, thanks for watching. Uh, my last video I uploaded, I replaced the bar grips and repainted the bar end. So this little area looks much better now. Um, keeping it going in this department, I'm replacing the levers now. So I've bought some like quite cool looking ones, just cheap ones off eBay and we'll fit them and then review them. Okay, so I bought these, they come all wrapped up like that. These are like literally the cheapest ones I can find off eBay. So if you're tempted to buy some, this will be a good like review for you. So you get this packet, you get this packet with these little bits in. I've put one of them together already. These were 26 quid, like about $30. Um, I mean, for the price, I think they're finished quite amazingly. Like painted really good, finished really well, proper machined. Like numbers engraved in that. Even the lever is finished really well, painted good, no burrs on it. There's nothing cheap about it, really. Not a sticker, it's properly, properly printed on there. I think they're really good for the price. And I'm sure the expensive brand ones are going to be like 10 times more expensive and a higher quality. But if you're spending 10 times more, I can't believe they're going to be 10 times better quality. I think these are really good. Right, you can see this bike. I have to say, before I owned it, this bike was dropped, obviously. This lever's bent. Um, so this has bugged me the whole time I've owned this bike, like coming up a year now. Um, also, I'm happy to treat the bike and upgrade it a little bit because yesterday I went on an epic journey like through the mountain roads. I'll see if I can put a video screenshot on. Uh, you won't believe the roads out here. Like, really exhausting, just so windy, so steep in places. Like, it took me five hours to do like 80 miles. It was like quite, quite exhausting, but really good fun. So to loosen this. That was 10 mil on a flathead on top, by the way. Might be different on other bikes. That's what it was on this R1. Nuts in bad days. And uh, if it's anything like the Thunder Ace I used to own, which I'm sure it's exactly the same, once I get this bolt out, I should be able to just pull the lever off. Unscrew that. If we're doing this for the first time, be careful, there's not all like washers and sleeves and stuff all ready to spring out everywhere. So work a bit carefully. Not a difficult job, but you can make it awkward by losing parts. I'm no expert, but I have done this once before. Okay. That is out. Oh, it's just a little tube inside, look. Nothing crazy about that. Alright, cool. So you have these bits. These to go together like that quite easy to figure out. There's a little spring comes in the bag. It sits in there. It's got a nice little seat in there. Obviously you get it sitting in there nicely. There you go. Hold that in position and match that head to that head. So that goes in that way. And you've got a nice decent nylon threaded nut to go on there. We like nylon threads because you tighten them up and then they don't come loose again, which is obviously good. 8mm, tighten that up. You haven't got to go mad with the tightness, but basically that's all it takes to assemble that and ready to fit on your bike. Okay, so I've assembled them and I'll tell you what's annoying. I put the piece on that came with it in the bag. They're in two separate bags here. They've mixed up the levers. So I was looking at the the logos like one's opposite the other so I thought that's good so I picked up the one that's gonna be correct for the accelerator side going that way but it's the wrong piece because that one this is a clutch one is a bit thinner there compared to the accelerator side so they fit nicely but I've just put on the lever that was in the bag with that piece and it's the wrong way around so I wasted a bit of time there so anyway so now I've got to disassemble these swap the levers over and then try again so watch out for that if you buy these cheap ones all right I hadn't thought of checking this, luckily it's alright, but yeah, the, the actual bolt goes through and fits nicely. That would have been a game over job, for today at least. So yeah, this one's well easy, just put that back on. Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some grease on it first. So let's have a quick look at it. Looks much more modern. It feels nice, although that length is going to take a bit of getting used to. Like a BMX lever compared to the other side, look. 
<laughs> it's well long. <laughs> yeah, definitely prefer the look of it, actually. If I can get used to the feel of it, this is going to be a good, good upgrade. All right, other side. I've never done a, like, a cable clutch before, so this is new for me. What gives me a bit of confidence, that's quite slack. There's a bit of movement in there, which is what you need, really, to be able to use it and not be pulling on the clutch when you're riding around. So that tells me that cable is not going to shoot in there and be impossible to fit onto the new lever. I don't know, let's take it off, see what happens. Okay, so there's no slot on top, just a nut underneath. And unfortunately, even with this little bendy tool, can't quite get it on there. So I'm going to loosen this, see if I can twist it out of the way. At first, these kind of little obstacles are quite annoying, but they actually make the job enjoyable more, I think. That doesn't move that much. It moves a bit, I don't think that's enough. Oh, yeah, it does. All right, can I... <laughs> no, I can't. Uh, okay, so let's try and twist a lever. What's that? So there's one nut on that, so maybe I can move that as well. I do kind of enjoy figuring out new things. There we go. Alright, let's get that 10 back on. Easier said than done. This ratchet set, really nice quality. I didn't actually buy them, my wife won them in a competition. So of course you didn't want them to give them to me. <laughs> like the best, best tools I've ever had. All right, let's pull this off. Again, being careful of washers and little sleeves and stuff that might go flying. All right, so I'm just gonna try and leave this out of position and hopefully is it anything like my old bicycle there should be a cylinder on the end of that cable that just comes out here we go yeah. Now, uh, that hole is much bigger than that. Luckily, this sleeve pokes out really easy. So I'll get that out. There you go. Let me give it a wipe, some fresh grease. So this is the bit I was dreading. Having to... <laughs> oh, there you go, look at that. Right, so that little cylinder needs to be put back in there. Surprisingly easy. <laughs> that was it. Oh no, I didn't put the sleeve back in. Oh, fucking hell. I've got this little thing. Just slot that in. Okay, there you go. 
Well, that was well easy. Put that through. Get this tighten first and then we'll realign everything. So make sure that works all right. Needs to come out. There you go, Dad. Pull the lever out. There you go. Fine. Okay, cool. Then obviously test it out. Okay, so my opinion of these cheap eBay levers is they look good. I think they're, they're well worth the money. They're finished really well. So for what you pay for, you get a lot for your money. But just, they look good, but the design is still wrong. That needs to be a bit longer. That's uncomfortable on my hand. Like doing a lot of clutch work and heavy traffic, that's going to become tiresome on my little finger. It's almost using three fingers, not four. I don't know. Maybe I just need to adjust what I'm used to, but I'll certainly try it. I'll leave them on there for a bit. Um, but I think, my first impressions is, I think that's going to become quite tiresome, a little bit uncomfortable.